Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a car review of my um, Jeep Compass that I have had for a year now. It's been a little over a year. It's actually been almost 14 months. In five days it will be 14 months that I've had the car, but I just haven't been able to do it. I'm sharing a car right now with Joey and since I'm out with a sprained ankle not working right now um, he has the car most days unless I have an appointment or something to do so he's had the car mostly but I got a few paychecks in got it washed finally so it looks so good so I have the car today and I wanted to do a car review so here is the car I'll show a full walk around in a minute but I just want to show getting into the car just like this shut the door so I'm not sure if I have mentioned it before but this car is a lease um, so I'm just a super clean person anyway with like all of my cars I like to have like barely anything in them just so they look really clean but especially since it's a lease I want to make sure it's like extra clean and there's really not a whole lot in it so down here this is sort of an area where you can keep like drinks and such like stuff like that but I just have a couple of perfumes in there because um my mom is a smoker so anytime I leave the house before I get in the car, I like to just like give myself a couple of sprays of perfume. So right now, if you're curious, I have a Thousand Wishes, which is like one of my favorites from Bath and Body Works. And then I have, this one's almost empty, so that's why I put the other one in here. And it's called Warm and Cozy, and it's pink, Victoria's Secret. And it's Vanilla and Sunburst Passion Fruit. This one's really good, I used this one like all last, fall and winter and spring so it's almost empty okay so here we have the uh, window adjustment here so we got that then we have the two front windows the two back windows the lock and unlock and then not quite sure what that is I really haven't ever pressed that then down here we have the light controls so usually I just like flip it all the way to auto um, to turn the lights on then to turn the car on it's um, keyless entry so you just step on the brake press this and the car is now on which is really cool and kind of took like some getting used to like I felt like super high tech because I always had like an actual key to start the car then up here you've got like cruise control stuff and like settings uh, Bluetooth to like call so now we've got all this stuff so like this stuff at the top like where the date and like direction and um, the miles till empty type stuff you could adjust that all in settings like you could have it say like the day of the week and the time and you know pretty much whatever you want but I like having the date because I never know like what the date is and what direction I'm going if I'm navigating somewhere and I just like that and then obviously I want to know when I'm getting low even though I have this right here but I just like knowing the actual number um, and then in the middle it's just like how many miles I've driven and how fast I'm going and though that's also over there um, and I've only done 10,434 miles on the car so I get 12,000 a year so I haven't exceeded that I think when it was a year I had only done 9,000 so I'm doing pretty good on that I'm like very anal about it just because like who wants to pay like more I'd rather just like keep it under and now it's kind of like rolls over so if I end up doing like 14,000 miles in this next year which like I don't think I'm going to because 
I only did nine in the past year and I was kind of in the winter I didn't really drive it so much because I don't like going out in the cold but you know in the summer I definitely drove it a lot and all of that so I only did 9,000 in the first year so that's really good um so I'm really happy about that so then here's the little all these controls so we got this one that controls the radio so I have I think it's a seven inch um, screen so then this pops up when you first turn it on then you give it a minute it pops up so I had Sirius XM for the first year um, it was a free trial and I didn't extend it once it ran out just because like uh, more money that I really don't want to pay and my job isn't that far from my house so I just listen to the radio or I have like an aux cord and a USB so I could just plug in my phone so I have these are the radio stations I have set up and I have like 12 stations because that's how many you can have and then also up here it has the time and the temperature that's also another reason I don't have the time over here because it just pops up here automatically so I don't need like two places so I added these in like pretty much right away so I have the heated seat and the heated wheel just there for convenience so I don't have to go all the way over to climb it and like find it and everything so yeah I have that right there so that when it's cold I could just press those and I'm good then the radio apps phone climate and settings so this is just pretty much what I do um, I do plug in my phone a lot um, just because I like to listen to like I have Spotify premium and yeah I just like to listen to that so if I'm going on like a long drive I'll usually plug in my phone but if I'm just going to like work or somewhere around the corner then I'll just like leave the radio on so then down here we have our controls so this will meet the radio your hazard lights obviously gotta have that this turns the screen off which is like I don't know why you'd want to do that maybe if you get like distracted but I don't know I never really have used that then you have oh I never use this either because I have preset stations but if you turn this it like changes the station but I've never used that because I don't know I have like preset ones and it's just easier to like touch the screen and whatever or actually like on the back of the steering wheel I don't even know if I could film this let's see <sighs> on the back of the wheel here like if you touch this up or down it like will change the station and that's super convenient so I've always used that and then on the so that's on the back left side and then on the back right side there is the one for volume so that's really good then down here this car is super cool because it has um the dual control like air so i'm always like freezing and joey's always hot so like it's great because like i can have like the heat on on my side and he can have air on um it has been hot out lately though so i've even had like even today it's i mean it's really nice outside but in the car it's like hot because obviously the car is um sitting in the sun but even though it's 64 it is pretty breezy so it's nice but yeah i usually just have the ac on comes on like right away air is super cold i have it on 60 which is like the coldest it goes but it's really nice so yeah you got all these controls shut it off turn up the heat on one side so like on this side i could put like this to 75 and then have this one still on 60 which is really cool you got like the front to defrost the rear defrost you know circulation in the whole car 
AC. You got you got all the buttons, but I really don't use all of them. Um, but it is really cool that you can do all of that. Obviously, volume button. Um, then down here we have the controls for four-wheel drive. So you got auto, snow, sand, and mud. Um, I really didn't use it that much last year because we really didn't get any major snowstorms. We had one, so I used it then. But other than that, I haven't used it. And I don't, I haven't gone mudding in this car. I feel like that's more like a Wrangler thing. So I haven't done that, but then I have my USB and aux cord. I don't really use the aux cord because now like the iPhones like don't have this. They have like that connector, but I think mine's broken, which is some bullshit because I only used it like a few times. Then you got one of these. And then this is where I usually will like put my phone. Then you got, you know, your Prindle, but no L. Um, then this car has like, if you stop at like a red light or for an extended like period of time, you're in traffic, the car will automatically shut off, which I don't really like. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, but like I never use it. So every time I get in the car, I just press this and it turns that off so that when you do stop, that doesn't happen. And then this is your traction control if you want to turn that off. And then obviously your emergency brake. Then we've got a little dual cup holder. I got my water in here right now. Then you have this guy, which all I have in here is a spare pair of sunglasses. It's not that big, as you can see. Like, it's honestly not huge. Um... Which is kind of one thing that's like not my favorite about this car is like it doesn't have like that much storage but i mean my last car was like huge and it was like an undercover police car so like this whole area right here was like a table and then it had like a huge thing like kind of here where it was cut out and i could put like my phone and like a book in there honestly it was huge so, I don't know, I think I'm just used to having more space. So then passenger side, same deal. You could put like a water or something in there. Got this, which was probably empty when I did the original tour, but now it just has, you know, some lifesavers, bunch of napkins. Still has the uh, car manual, of course, little charger, because in the back I do have like a regular like outlet so I just have this just in case so now I'll show you guys the back of the car so now I'm in the back of the car which honestly I have to say I have never been in once except I think the last time when I did the um the first video of the car so super weird sitting back here but it's nice spacious I mean I have my seat up really far so I guess depending on like Joey puts his seat back more, but I mean, this is super spacious. My knees are here, back of the car seats here, has some little storage if you wanna put something in there. Has the same cup storage down on the door. Um, has some air and heat control back here. Now you can't control it. Um, that's only in the front seat, but it does have that, so you can point it at yourself and then another usb port down here and then like i was saying the regular outlet so that's pretty cool then passenger seat same type of deal same cup holders then it actually has a pull out cup holder which i always love these i don't know why but it's cool because you can you know rest your elbow Got some cup holders. This looks like it could probably fit like a phone or something. So I always really like that. So that's the back seat. Not too much going on back here. Then we've got the trunk, which honestly is pretty big. I don't really use it for that much. So it has enough storage for me. I do normally have like two fold out chairs and like a little 
bag in here, but I took them out so you could see the full trunk. And then down here, there is like extra storage, which I've put like all my, when I wash the car myself, like cleaning stuff in here. And then this is a bag of stuff from my old car that I still never went through. Mostly like CDs and stuff that I can't play now. And a little brush cleaner for winter. But yeah, it's a really nice size storage. And then it just has a little handle. And then just like in most cars, you can fold the seats down. So you just grab this here and this one folds pretty much all the way flat. So that definitely gives you some extra storage. I did bring home a bike in this car. I bought a bike at Walmart and it, it was hard to fit just because it was like bigger, but it did fit. Um, and then obviously that one also folds down. Just gotta pull the latch over there and then it will fold down quite easily. And then to bring it back up, you just pull it wait till it snaps into place and it's good so this car does sit five um and the gas tank is on the passenger side which is kind of annoying because i think my first car had the yeah my first car had the gas tank on the driver's side which i only had that car for like a year or two and then my second car had the tank on the passenger side, which, like, I didn't like. Because then you gotta walk around the car. I don't know. It's not even me being lazy. I just, like, it'd just be so much easier if it was on the passenger side. But then this one, which I feel like I didn't even realize until after I got it, um, has the thing on the passenger side. So that's frustrating. But then I also, so my car is, like, part of the, um cold weather package because I wanted the heated seat I really just wanted the heated seat because my mom's car had that and like it was really nice so it's just in the driver's seat and passenger seat so then if you wanted to get it on the passenger seat you would have to go to climate controls and then heated passenger and then you could do high or low or off so that's what I would have to do if I didn't have like the quick controls there but I do thankfully so yes I have the cold weather package so it comes with the heated seat it comes with a heated wheel which is really nice like I have leather gloves for like the cold cold winter months like December January February but like I still would use the heated wheel and it's it's amazing it's like one of the best things ever like for someone who's always freezing I just like in the winter like I just turn on the car and like this is the go-to um, and then it also comes with like it will defrost these mirrors which I guess is pretty cool uh, like I said it didn't really snow too much last winter so I didn't really get to use them so hopefully we get like a pretty good winter this year and I could actually like use this stuff and see how good it is I'm sure it's great because everything else in the car is great and then it also came with like the full sunroof vibes going on here like literally all the way back so the controls for that are up here so you just you have to like press and hold it but like it opens pretty quickly then just keep holding it to get it all the way now i have driven it like this plenty of times because i mean it's beautiful on like a sunny day or you just want to have some extra light in the car like and it goes all the way back to like those seats back there and then it like stops but it's really nice I have opened the glass the glass only opens halfway 
so right to that mark but like every time I've opened it and I've only opened it a couple times because every time I open it a friggin spider falls in and it falls on me and I'm driving and it's just not okay so I really don't open that too much just because I'm scared and then like it gets too windy and too loud so but I do open this quite a bit if it's nice out and I'm just going for a drive and it's really nice I mean look at it it's just beautiful so that's definitely one of my favorite features that I didn't know I needed until I got it um then down here I gotta open the door for this I think but on the side it has like the automatic so you just like move this to move the seat this one to like just adjust the seat without I don't know you just like push a button and it moves the seat which is pretty cool never had that before so to pop the hood it's just down here just pull that So this is under the hood, the car, the engine, all that fun stuff. Now also something really cool about this car that I learned the first day I had it was if you leave the car and the key fob is still in the car, you won't be able to lock the car, which is really cool because then you can't lock your keys in your car. So if I get out of the car, and leave the keys on the seat, shut the door, and press this to lock it, doesn't lock. But if I take the key fob out and lock it, now it just locked. So that's really cool. And then to unlock it, you just have to stand near it with the key fob until you hear it like unlock which it's not doing but does it every time and then or you could just press the unlock button but I never really have the key fob on me because you don't need it to turn the car on so it's usually just in my bag and then as long as my bag is like right next to the car when I go to enter it it'll just you'll hear it click and then it's unlocked and then if you have a passenger with you you just have to like unlock the doors for them um but yeah, so that's really cool, and I learned that the first day, because honestly, I was just stopping home to change or something, because I had to go out, and obviously I was going to drive my new car, but I left my purse in the car, because I was just going to run in, and it wouldn't let me, like, lock the car, and I was like, what the heck, and then I figured out that was why. So, key fob, really cool, panic button, lock, unlock, and then... If you press this twice, it does have a remote start, which is also something I wanted because it gets cold here in the winter and that's just really nice to have. So when you come in your car, it's already warm. I think it does have a 10 minute um, like timer. So if you remote start it and then 10 minutes goes by, it will shut off which has happened to me a couple times, but usually I'm pretty good about it. Like I know I'm gonna be leaving in the next few minutes, so I'll remote start it from my room and then just go out and it's already warm, which is honestly great. So that's a super cool feature. So overall, um, I love this car. It's honestly my favorite car. I kind of wish I would have gotten it in a navy blue because 
my last car not my last car my first car was a 2003 um jeep grand cherokee which was my dad's and it was like this navy blue and it was beautiful and i kind of wish i had asked if they had this in a navy blue but they probably didn't have any on the lot which means i would have had to wait probably a week or two to get the actual car and i really wanted it that day and they had this one which was literally everything i wanted plus like the sunroof so it was just like super cool and i felt like super lucky and i do like the black i definitely wanted black like i really wanted navy but black is definitely the color i was going for since i knew navy was probably gonna have to be like ordered in and then i would have had to wait so black and then has all black interior as you saw so honestly i love the car um it has really great mileage like when you fill it up it has like probably around like 315 miles um and i mean i do go through that in like a week just because like especially now that joey and i are sharing it i mean i'm really not working yet but like I will use it from time to time and then on weekends we're only using my car because his is donezo but I don't know I really love this car I feel super grateful to be able to afford it I'm barely affording it I mean it's not that bad um and my mom did co-sign it um so that definitely I think helped with the payment to make it lower it is a leased car like i said so i got a three-year lease so i'm one year down two to go and it's crazy i think i am going to like buy it when the lease is up because i don't want to have to like do all this again with the lease and i don't know i'd rather just like finance it to buy um because I don't know like so far I love it I haven't had any problems I've gotten two oil changes so far so I think the first two or maybe three are free um, at the dealership I bought it from and then it has full lifetime and like free inspections which is cool so I got that done a couple months ago um, yeah and it's just a great car like I love it I'm so happy to show it to you guys um if you want to see more car videos i could probably do them if there's anything specifically you're interested in about the car um i could probably have joey even help me with that and like say all the like specifics because i'm not like a super like car person like he like knows about cars and like watches like car videos on youtube a lot and i'm not like super into it i'm just like i love jeeps like they're my thing like that's the car that i love and if i really could afford it i would get a wrangler but that's like way out of my budget right now maybe when i'm older and like i make more money one day i could afford a wrangler maybe my next car i'll probably buy this one and then maybe like my next car will be like a wrangler which is weird because i'll probably have kids by then but i remember seeing like a mom when i used to work at a daycare there was a mom who had like a wrangler it's a white wrangler and it was huge and she had like this little like two month old baby that she would bring in and i'm just like it was wild but i would love a wrangler i think i i see them all over where i live on long island like everyone and their mom has a wrangler and they're just beautiful like every color they're just all beautiful and i would love to get one but for now i love this car gets the job done and more four-wheel drive everything works beautifully runs great uh super easy to drive like i said um it is an suv so it does have the four-wheel drive but it's not huge I hope you could see that from the um, walk around like it's not a huge car but it is an SUV so I feel safe in it I love driving SUVs those are the only type of cars I've had since I've had cars and been driving 
and I just love this car like I can't say any more about it than that I love it it's a great car five out of five stars probably gonna buy it so I really hope you guys like this little year review sorry it took longer than expected to get out but I really hope you guys like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye guys